Hey guys, this week we're going to be creating and looking at MailerLite. MailerLite is an email marketing platform, a lot like MailChimp, but I think that MailerLite is so much easier and better and the free version is so much stronger than MailChimp that I said goodbye to the monkey and hello to MailerLite. Let's take a quick look at pricing. It's already so much better than MailChimp because MailerLite is free if you have under a thousand subscribers. Once you get above a thousand subscribers and you're into this kind of middle land territory, this is half price of MailChimp. Once you start getting bigger, by the way, let's say you have 5,000 subscribers, MailChimp is going to charge you $75 a month while MailerLite is going to charge you 30. So already MailerLite gets a huge plus in my book. When you sign up for MailerLite, you're going to enter your email and a password. So when you log in for the first time, you'll be brought to your dashboard, which is basically an overview of everything like your campaigns. By the way, I always start with a joke for my email campaigns. And the answer here is bubble 07. Um, but this is a great way to give you an overview of your um, subscribers, your growth, what plan you're on. Uh, and then of course, big orange button, you can't miss it. Very easy to create a new campaign right from the entry point on MailerLite. So let's start with a campaign. Why not? Uh, campaign name is just for you to see. So um, this could be something like January new client push. This is where you'll enter your subject. Again, I always do mine as a joke, but that's just me. Who it's from, by the way, is the name in which you signed up for. You can change that, of course, if you wanted to do your business name. So um, if you don't work as a freelancer under your independent name, you could do your VA brand name here as well. Um, and then this email address is the one that you signed up with. Here's that handy little note. Domains from free emails are not recommended, but again, I've been using my free, I've been using my Gmail address for ages and it works just fine. You'll see an optional tracking options here, by the way. This is if you do have a Google Analytics, uh, if you wanna see which links were clicked on in your campaigns, or if you wanna track the opens. You don't have to do these, uh, but I recommend having them for just a little extra data. That way you can really see which people are most engaged with your newsletters and who's clicking on what. Next, we're gonna do the content. The MailerLite design is super easy. It's a drag and drop, and I'll show you in a second just how easy it looks. Um, I do wanna point out, however, that templates are not available on the free version. So if you are using the free version, while they do have some incredible and functional, aesthetically pleasing templates, they're not available to us. But don't worry, because I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create something that looks fantastic. Right off the bat, MailerLite gets major bonus points for me because they have um, their, their quote unquote blank drag and drop actually gives you some really good guidance. I like to just keep my newsletter layouts in the same layout because I figured that MailerLite people are pros and also it looks fantastic. Anytime you click on something that needs to be edited, the text box will open on the right hand side. So this is actually where you make your changes and then you'll see those changes reflected over here. Of course, they make it very easy to uh, duplicate if you wanted to add more text boxes. These little arrows are great if you wanna move some of these around, if you wanna delete the text box, box, all very, very simple things. Very easy to add your own images. Um, you could delete something here and simply click on this button to upload your own image. I want to bring your attention over here to the left hand side, by the way, this is where you can scroll around and see lots of different features that you could add. So you can add your own videos. You could highlight your own blog posts with a great image and a call to action. Um, there's almost nothing you can't do. I do like to use a lot of these features. In fact, the, the highlight video, um, is one of my favorites. So, uh, as you know, if you're here watching, I have a lot of YouTube videos. So this is where I simply drag and drop that in. Uh, if I click on here, this is where I'm able to add my YouTube URL. I add a little title of my video, and uh, then here's where I'd add a little bit of verbiage about what the reader is going to see. Uh, and then I'll have, you know, if you click on the button, I'll have something that says, uh, click here to watch more. Of course, when you're done making the edits that you want to see, you can send yourself a test email. So you actually see what it looks like from the reader's point of view. And when you're done editing, you simply click done. Once you click that done button, MailerLite is automatically going to have you figure out where you want to send your emails to. Once you've confirmed who you want to send this to, you'll simply hit review and confirm. On the next window, this is simply a review of everything that you've built so far. And then the final button is scheduling. So once you schedule your post to go out, you click the 
time and the place. Uh, you can send this later. You, once you set that up, you hit schedule and you're good to go. Now I want to talk a little bit more about subscribers because I mentioned just minutes ago that you can segment people. So MailerLite gets another big bonus in my book because I find that MailChimp was just too complicated um, for even finding my subscribers. So here, if you're new, like totally brand new, you can manually add your own subscribers one by one, um, or you can even drag and drop in some sort of Excel file. But if you do have somebody in mind that you wanna add, it's a really simple name and email. You can add more fields if needed. Um, but the drag and drop option of adding a list of subscribers by Excel file or Google Sheets is really handy too. Now let's pop over to the automation tab. Creating and sending automated emails through MailerLite is very simple too. Now, as you can see, I keep mine really, really simple. It's basically whenever a subscriber join, whenever a reader goes to my website, erinbooth.com and signs up through my website, they'll get a welcome email from MailerLite. It's as simple as that. You can add as many different automated emails as you want. You can have one for when somebody signs up to your website. You can have one for whenever people buy a product from you. Um, so what you'll simply do is click set up workflow trigger. Uh, you will rename this so it could be product sale. Um, let's say you sell eBooks or courses and it could be um, when somebody buys a product from you. There's a link to my course. Anytime somebody buys a course, I can set up a new trigger. I could send an email welcoming students to the course, giving them an overview for what they're gonna learn, helping give some encouragement. And we can either stop here. This is exactly what setup I have for my student signs up and, and they get a welcome email from me, or we could make it a little more complicated. Uh, we could send them a secondary email. This could be some, uh, we could even add a condition. Conditions are quite interesting because this is where you set your own rules. So I'm just going to give you a very ballpark example here. Let's say you send emails to people who buy your course online. If somebody buys your course and then does not interact with your course content within something like three days, um, this thumbs down means they didn't interact with it. You could add them, add another email that says something like, hey, is student, you know, I've noticed you bought the course, but you haven't started it yet. Um, what can I do to encourage you? Do you want to hop on a call, et cetera, et cetera. And then once you're done, you, you hit save and you'll be brought back to your uh, secondary automated email right there. The last thing I want to talk about is the site pop-up. So you can actually create really simple landing pages or websites using MailerLite too. Um, if, now, I personally like to use Card. I have a video about how to create, create great websites using Card. It costs $9 a month, but if you were interested in building a really simple landing page um, and you wanted to keep everything in the same ecosystem, you could simply do that here too. The benefit of creating a landing page or a website through something like MailerLite, by the way, is that I think it just makes it really simple to ensure that your automated emails are working as you intended. Um, so for example, I do use card for my own website, erinbooth.com. And um, when I initially set this up and tried to, to integrate it with MailerLite, I did have an issue initially where some of my emails were not going to subscribers as I intended. So it did take a little extra troubleshooting on my end. It turns out I had uh, misentered something on the card website itself. Um, so it was my own user error. So if you want to help eliminate some of those user errors, then you might consider building your own landing page uh, to keep it simple uh, and really help eliminate some of those errors down the line. I look at this gorgeous, free template for a landing page. I mean, I could never make something that looks this good from scratch. So um, super, super awesome. Makes it really easy and airtight to make sure that subscribers are getting your emails as intended. You can market your own freelance or VA services. And again, it's the same thing. It's super easy to edit. All you're gonna do is click on the photo or the um, text that you actually wanna edit and you can make those changes uh, right. And then you're going to make these changes right on the website itself. Last thing I do want to say is that when you are working with a landing page, if you're on the free plan and you can, you can rename this. So you can rename this either your brand or your name. 
Um, you will notice that the, w, the main URL, you will notice by the way that the main URL is this subscribe page.com and then your name. That's because we're using a free plan. If you wanted to upgrade your plan, you could have your own custom domains domain. So it could be, um, www.yourname.com. Uh, but you know, if you're just starting out and you're getting your VA business off the ground, it almost doesn't matter. You know, my stick it's, uh, what I always say is keep everything, your overhead, the cost to run your business as low as possible. Use these free tools. And if you end up using them on a regular basis and you need to upgrade, then pay for that upgrade at the time. But, um, I don't think it's worth anybody's, uh, jumping into something. So there's my quick rundown of MailerLite. If you guys are using MailerLite too, and you like it, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you like about it. Maybe let me know what kind of services you wish they offered. Um, are you using something completely different and you think I'm missing out? Let me know. Thank you guys for sticking with me for this very long tutorial. And I will see you guys on next week's video.